friends, welcome to this daily video devotional. Uh, I'm going to read today from uh, the, the book of Genesis. In fact, I'm going to read the very beginning of the Bible. Uh, this is Genesis chapter 1, uh, just the first couple of verses. It says this, When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was without shape or form. It was dark over the deep sea, and God's wind swept over the waters. God said, let there be light, and so light appeared. God saw how good the light was. God separated the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. There was evening, and there was morning, the first day. I find it interesting what is the focus of these first few verses in Genesis. We always read this as if the first act of creation is creating the form of the world. But that's not what it says, right? When God began to create the heavens and the earth, there was no earth, there was no shape of the earth, no form of the earth. God simply began to create. We're not told what it looked like. We're not told how big it was. We're not told why God chose a, a, a sphere, right? God began to create. But then we get a tremendous amount of detail on on the thing that God does create, it says, God said, let there be, say it, light. Let there be light. And so light did appear. The author of Genesis chose to focus more on the creation of light than on the creation of the planet. Isn't that interesting? Sometimes we we read this and, and we just read it almost as if it's a science textbook. And I don't think that was ever the intention of the author. I don't think we are intended to read this and say, well, of course, this is the order in which things were made. And No, I, I think we are intended to read this a little bit deeper. And so God creates the very thing that allows us to see first. It's only after that that everything else comes into being. But we need the ability to see first. Light needs to break into the darkness first. I think about our lives and how God works in our lives so similar to creation. There are moments in our lives, whether we're children or adults, where, where God probably looks at us and says, you know, here's something. Something I've created, something I've begun. And it's not yet with, with form and shape. Now, I'm not talking physically, obviously, but, but looking at us, God sometimes, I imagine, thinks, here is something I created and now I can do something more with. And so God shows us grace. In the Wesleyan tradition, in the Methodist tradition, we would call that justification. Justifying grace comes upon us. And we see. In other words, God says, let there be light. Let there be light. Do you notice that at the beginning of this chapter, the beginning of the Bible, it says, when God began to create. We talked about this last week, didn't we? The idea that God has begun something in us. But God's not done. God is still working on us. But it begins with light. It begins with the ability to see God's goodness and God's grace. And only then can God begin to put the finer details on our lives in place. 
And so today, tomorrow, and every day, may there be light.